Hey everybody, it's Jess here with Blush Jess. Thank you so much for watching today for, I believe this is week seven weigh-in. I'm trying to adjust my camera. Um, this is my week seven weigh-in of this year. Uh, I'm going to get into how I did this week, but first I want to say pardon my wet hair. It looks like I like dyed it red or something. I have a lot of red in my hair and you can see when it's wet. Um, I just, I didn't feel like blow drying it. I'm just going to let it air dry today. So I went to the gym this morning and I just let my hair dry after a shower. So sorry I look a hot mess, but it's okay. Um, so you might notice that it's very quiet behind me. I do have Layla, so if she barks, then sorry. But um, I don't have any kids here right now. It feels so weird to like film in peace <laughs> without someone interrupting me. But um, Lucy is spending the week, if you don't know, with my mom and dad. And Nate's at school. So it's very nice to sit down and have a little chat with you guys. So if you are new, I'm just going to briefly tell you kind of my plan. And I'm doing my fitness pal. I'm counting calories. I'm trying to stay between 1,500 and 1,700 calories. Drink 64 to 90-ish ounces of water a day. And go to the gym. I'm hoping to go to the gym and up my gym to three to four times a week. Um... I had been sick for a while and had a lot of medicines and stuff going on and was able unable to go to the gym. And I just started back this past week. I kind of eased my way in. I, I started just walking. Um, and now I'm like full, full hardcore back at the gym doing my usual workout. So I'm feeling really good about that. Um, struggles this week. And I'm having like some eye twitching going on. I don't know if it's exhaustion or allergies or what. So I'm sorry about that too. Um, it happens sometimes. So struggles this week. There was about a 24 to 36 hour period of time where I didn't track and that was Sunday night to Monday afternoon. Um, we went home. I'm not trying to make excuses, but I'm just telling you the, the struggle. So we went home for to drop Lucy off with my mom and dad and we just I just let myself relax and have fun with family. It wasn't a complete pick out by any means, but I just ate normal servings of what they had. So like we had hot dogs, we had over a campfire and I had a s'more and then we mom did a big seafood fish fry kind of thing and I had some fried shrimp and some french fries. It wasn't a ton, but I know that like um what was it? When we were up headed back Monday night, my stomach, I guess it just hadn't been used to eating like that. And it was so upset. So, um, I jumped right back on it Tuesday, but, um, you know, that was only yesterday. <laughs> so I've only been back on track and this is the second day. Uh, so, you know, I was kind of nervous about the scale and I think it showed, um, and I'll get into that. Other struggles this week, and I've been talking to David about it, I have gotten really lax about tracking. And that is one of my goals this coming week is to be, whatever people say, an A-plus tracker. Because I've kind of been like a C-plus tracker. You know, just like grabbing things here, you know, things here or there, and, and just estimating calories. And, um, you know, when I, when I tell you guys, I, it really holds me accountable because I have to track it. But some of the days I don't film them. I'm just like, oh, well, you know, this is probably a hundred calories. And, and then maybe I forget to track a couple of things or, um, you know, take a bite here and there of the kids food. It happens. So my goal this week is to be an A plus tracker. Every single bite of food that I put into my mouth, I want to track and just be accountable for it. So I, because otherwise, like, why am I doing this? You know, so let's just get into the results for this week. I'm not super excited about it, but you know, I'm being honest with you guys. So last week I was 226.6 and that was down like 2.6 pounds. And I was really excited that that steroid rate had fallen off. And, um, I started going back to the gym this week and, um, all of that. So when I stepped on the scale this morning, I was insert it right here, 228.8. So I'm up 2.2 pounds. I'm really disappointed in myself. Um, I don't know. There's a couple of reasons I think, and this is not to make excuses because I totally own the fact that I, you know, was not on my game this week as far as every single day being a hundred percent tracking, you know, all of that. And then this weekend. So it also, it could have been that the food that I ate, just the sodium and everything hasn't come off yet. 
and it could have been that I gained a little bit from that few meal, those couple of meals, which I think it's kind of hard if I've been doing good all week to, to screw up one day and then it shows, but it could have. It also could be the fact that I'm working out again, and I'm like, I am like hardcore wa working out. Yesterday and today, I kicked my, I mean, I kicked myself in the butt, and I just, I just said enough is enough, you know, and I pushed myself at the gym, and it felt awesome. And I know like usually if I haven't worked out in a while and then I work out a lot of times it will show a gain. Um, so I don't know. It could have been my food choices this week. It could have been the gym starting back. It could have been a combination of the two. Bottom line is like I've had enough. Like I've had enough. Enough is enough. I feel like that since October, actually probably since we moved here, we moved to Georgia, I feel like I have gained and lost the same amount of weight dozens of times and I don't know exactly what's going on. I've heard a lot of people in the YouTube community talk about their having the similar struggles and I'm 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 just done with it. I'm done. I'm really going to buckle down. Like I've I've <laughs> I've reached the point of like okay, no more messing around. Like no more half-hearted, you know, tracking. It's going to be 100% of the time. No more just kind of hoping to get to the gym, I'm going to make it a priority. You know, I'm just really going to buckle down. Um, another thing that I'm going to start trying this week, and I kind of mentioned it on my What I Ate Today videos, I am going to try intermittent fasting. Now, I'm not going to be like hardcore about this because I just want to kind of see how I do. But basically, intermittent fasting is where you just take a, a part of the day. Um, and I, the, the, the article I read was talking about 16 hour breaks. So, so you take 16 hours of the day and you don't eat anything and then you eat during, so you might eat from 10 to six during the day and then you don't eat anything else the rest of the day. And basically it's just kind of a jump start for your metabolism and it, it's supposed to really help you lose weight and it's supposed to be really good for your digestion and all of that. Um, I don't know if I can do 16 hours because I, I need a coffee in the morning and if I don't eat pretty soon after I wake up, I get really nauseous. So last night I stopped eating at six and I didn't eat again till nine. So that was 15 hours. So I'm just going to do my best between six and seven to stop eating and then eat the next morning around nine. Um, and I'm going to just see how it goes. It can't hurt to try it for a week, you know? So, um, I've heard a lot of good things from people who've done it and, for me, like the hardest part of the day is like after the kids go to bed when I'm with my husband and we just want to snack on something, you know, and you get that munchy feeling and you're not really hungry, but you want to eat. And um, also, I want to be really careful. And I think that this will help me really choose foods for dinner that are going to fill me up, that are healthy because I need them to last longer. You know, like I can't just eat a piece of pizza because I'm going to be hungry and like, two hours, you know? So I need to pick stuff with protein and with fiber that's really going to keep me full. Like last night I had um, a little cheeseburger pita, I had some green beans, and I had a sweet potato, and that really did hold me. I started feeling a little bit hungry around 10 last night, but it wasn't terrible, and I just went to sleep, and then I woke up, and it was, you know, it was time to eat. So within like an hour or so, or two hours, I woke up at 7, but I wasn't that hungry. So I'm going to try it. I'll let you know how it goes. I have a couple of big events coming up this year. The first one, and I don't know, somebody's working upstairs, so apartment life. I'm sorry if you hear that hammering. Um, the first one is my little brother is getting married in May. We're going to, it's like a destination wedding. We're going to all be at the beach, and he's having this big, beautiful wedding. And um, I just want to have lost a good amount of weight by then. You know, like I feel like this past whole year, I've been doing this almost a whole year. I think in like March or April, it'll be a year of me trying to actually really trying to lose weight. And I've maybe lost 10 to 15 pounds, you know, I'm done with that. Like I'm going to kick it into gear. And I know like I'm a slow loser and it all, it all takes time and I can't always control how fast my body loses weight, but I've got to do better than I've been doing. And I've just got to buckle down with myself. So, and I want to thank you all for the support. You guys are so fantastic. I wouldn't still be doing this if it wasn't for you. I promise you that. Um, so 
we have that coming up. And I just want, I want to look back at pictures and be proud, you know, of the hard work I did. And I just think, you know, I've got to find a dress. He's having a very, very formal kind of wedding. And I want to find a beautiful dress and I just want to feel beautiful. And I want, I just want to look good on that day. The other thing is in September, me and my husband will be having our eight year anniversary this year. And we've had a really rough few years, not in our marriage, but just in life with moving and, you know, Nate getting diagnosed, diagnosed with autism and the struggles there. And, you know, it's just been, it's been hard and we haven't had a lot of time for ourselves. And so I told him, I really want to make this year's anniversary a priority. And we've never done anything big for our anniversary ever. Like we might go to dinner. So we're really playing with the idea of taking a, a cruise this September and it'll be actually on our anniversary, like a five night cruise. And there's some really good deals out there and I think we can make it happen. So I would love, I would love to be under 200 pounds by September. I would love to be a good bit under 200 pounds, but I just think like, you know, we took a we took a cruise on our honeymoon, and just being able eight years later to take another cruise as being married eight years, um, I didn't really love my body when I got married. I was uh, I was probably two fifteen when I got married, or, or two ten. I was smaller than I am now, but I wasn't like really skinny. I would love to be able to look back on these pictures and be proud of the body I have and just to be able to wear clothes that I can't wear right now. So I'm really, really going to buckle down before May and my brother's wedding. And then before September, when we go on that cruise and just do this for myself, I've been, you know, I've had this time where I have no kids right now. I mean, I have to go get Nate in a few hours, but I just had this time to really think this week and just think about my goals and where I am. And I'm not happy with where I am. And you know, I don't want to change my diet because I really like the counting calories and I don't think it's that. I just think I've got to get in the right mindset. I've got to get in the right mindset and do this for the right reasons. Do it for myself. Like as moms, I put, or as a mom, I put everyone else in my life first. You know, my kids come first. My husband comes first. You know, the house comes first. This comes first. That comes first. The church comes first. Everything in my life I put ahead of me. And I'm last on the list. And it's time to start taking care of myself. It's time with my with my mindset, I need to change. I need to change it. I need to be positive. I need to buckle down on my diet. Track, track, track. Put the gym first. You know, I have so much guilt at night. If I have to leave the kids to go to the gym, I feel terrible to leave them. And I need to just stop that. Like the best thing I can do for my children is get healthy and be the mom that I need to be. And I've been watching a lot of my 600 pound life, which I never had really watched that much of before. And I'm just watching them. And, and of course it's the extreme mindset, you know, of what I have. It's, it's that to the extreme, but I just see like, I see their struggle, their inward struggle with food. And I think, you know, I have that too. You know, I think about food all the time. I can't wait to eat the next time. You know, I probably choose foods I shouldn't eat. And, you know, after they have their weight loss surgery, almost everybody I've watched has a hard time still. Like it's, it's a mental thing. Like the doctor has cut their stomach open and reduced it to the size of like a golf ball. And they still gain weight because it is a mindset. You know, there's no magic formula. You have to, you have to be in the right mindset. And I'm really trying to realize that I can't fill a hole in my life up with food. You know, I can't, I can't sh stress eat and make the stress go away. It's going to still be there, you know, and I've got to give it to God. That is the ultimate thing is I've got to give this to God and stop trying to control it all on my own. You know, if I, I think, well, if I adjust this and if I adjust this and if I eat less here and then it's all going to work out, but you know, I just have to give it up and say, I am trying and I'm stressing out way too much about this. And I give it to you, Lord, please, please help me with it. And that's what I've done. I've been thinking a lot about it this week. And I know this video is getting kind of long, but I really want, because I can lose all the weight but until I fix the mindset and the addiction that food is for me, it's going to come right back on. You guys, I've lost weight before. I mean, I've lost weight and then gained it back, lost weight, gained it back, lost weight, gained it back. I have to come to the root of it. And I'm 
just done. Like I am done with playing around with it. So this is a new day. This is a new start. I'm restarting and I'm just done. I'm done. I'm done thinking about food all the time, planning food all the time. I want to eat when I'm hungry, stop when I'm full. I am still going to track the calories because I want to be accountable and I want to see what I'm eating, what I'm putting into my body. But I've got to stop. I've got to stop obsessing. <laughs> and I, I know you guys understand that if you're watching. I know you understand it. We all, we all, you know, have struggles. And mine is with food. If I'm stressed, I eat. If I'm happy, I eat. If I'm upset, I eat. <laughs> you know, and it's just killing me. And I, and I want to get a hold of this now while I'm 30 instead of having to do it when I'm 50 because it's going to be harder then, you know, and I want to live my life to the fullest. So I have a lot of goals. I know this video is long and I'm sorry. I hope you guys understand. Um, I want to say thank you all so much for all of your support. It's not easy to get on here and say, oh, I gained weight this week, you know, especially since I've had such a hard time these last few months. I don't know what it is. But things are changing. Things are going to change starting from right now. Um, I'm just done. So thank you all so much for watching. David did not weigh in this week because we were out of town on the day of his weigh-in. And so he's just going to wait till next Monday. So if you're waiting for that, he is still tracking. He's doing really well, but he, he kind of missed the day. And he was like, well, I'll just wait till next Monday. So anyway, that's what's going on there. I'm going to enjoy my kid free time. Although like I cried my eyes out last night because I missed her. I miss Lucy and it just feels weird. I have not been alone in this, in a house during the day without children since I became a mother. I mean, it's just weird. Um, so I miss them, but I'm focusing on myself. I'm taking care of myself and I'm using this time to really think and pray about a lot of things. And, um, I'm really excited about this next year and the journey that I'm on. And you guys, it is a journey. You know, if everything, every week I got on here and I lost weight, um, you know, that would be great, but it's not reality. It's it, a journey. And I say this all the time. A journey is this, <laughs> it's a journey and there's going to be ups and there's going to be downs. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Bye y'all.